Another woman who's so passionate about what she does is the owner of one of the largest and most trusted names in estate sales throughout Chicago. Now, she's recently started business right here in the Florida Keys. She says that the move here was a natural choice to do what she truly loves in a place that she truly loves. To her, that's paradise. Susie, thank you for being with me on the show today. Thank you for having me. Well, you are so welcome. It's a pleasure having you here, Susie. Now, could you start by telling me and the viewers how long you've been in the business for? I've actually been in the business in the Chicagoland area for 15 years, and as of December, brought my business down to Key West. Okay, so you've brought it down to Key West, and you love Key West. I love Key West. <laughs> I love Key West. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I don't blame you at all. Chicago's too cold right. and gray. Now, Susie, explain exactly your type of work. What we do is we go in, um, we service people who maybe they've had a death in their family or they're moving out of state or sometimes out of the country or sometimes just downsizing. We go in and sell all of their um, personal property in the house, everything from the fine antiques down to a half a bag of kitty litter. And uh, we go in and the high-end, smaller items we put on eBay for them because you have a worldwide audience with eBay. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the items we sell through a two-day estate sale, Friday being full price, Saturday being half price for anything 20 and under, where we sell a lot of the kitty litter, the beat up pots and pans, the used Tupperware, things like that. When we're done, we have um, Habitat for Humanity comes in, mm -hmm. takes away the rest. When we're all finished, the house is emptied and vacuumed and ready to go. The owner has a big fat check and a donation receipt and ready for the new people to move in. Wonderful. Now, is there anyone else who's really doing this in the Keys, Susan? No one who does a full estate sale. There are other companies who do consignments and things, but we are the only estate sale company in all of the Keys. Okay. Tell me about some more of your clients that you have, Susie. Well, we, like you say, a lot of times uh, the person has passed away mm -hmm. and the heirs are from out of state. They don't know what to do with all of this, so they call us when they're absolutely overwhelmed. We do this week after week after week. It's the same formula, just different items. Um, some of our more interesting clients have mm -hmm. been um, people who have left the country mm -hmm. suddenly. Um, we have had people who have walked into a foreclosure that they've bought in, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's packed. The people had just walked away from everything. Some of our more interesting clients are hoarders. We mm -hmm. specialize in hoarders. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of QVC hoarders and Home Shopping Network, you'd be amazed at the large number. Their heirs are usually completely embarrassed by it, but it, it's so common really? these days. Or you can't even walk into a room. It's that bad. It's that bad, oh, yeah. Wow. And, and again, we specialize in that type of thing. Okay. Let's get more into some of these bizarre items that you come across because I can only imagine some of the things that you've seen. Right. Some of them I can't really talk about on TV, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, mm -hmm. We had one last summer that mm -hmm. included two baby grand pianos, three dump trucks, and a stripper pole. Oh, yeah, really? A full bar set up with a stripper pole. Oh, and my no. thing is, how does one... Um, mark something like that right. and without actually touching it, <laughs> but we sold the stir for pole. Another bizarre item that we find time after time in older mm -hmm. folks' um, homes is in their jewelry box. They keep their gold cap teeth, especially people who grew up in the Depression and things. Mm -hmm. um, and we sell those on eBay. It's an amazing thing how much we get for gold. Um, but you have to <laughs> chip the tooth right. out of the gold cap. <laughs> and I was in my office one night with a pair of pliers mm -hmm. chipping the tooth, and my son walked in, and he said, Ma, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I think you've hit an all-time low, but I got yeah. hundreds of dollars for my clients. Right, so, right. again, we sell everything. Okay. Now, what's it like, What's I guess I should say, what's the biggest difference between doing business here in the Keys as opposed to being in Chicago, Susie? The people. Mm -hmm. The people. The people are, I hate to say it, they're, they're nicer. They're more laid back. They don't expect as much. And, you know, not that we don't give them the same service, but they're just nicer to work with. Mm -hmm. um, the other difference, of course, is the weather. Mm -hmm. I said that I have loaded my last up there we use Salvation Army, my last Salvation Army truck in the sleet and the snow when I'm sliding up to the truck. Uh -huh. that, that was it. Then, that was you? it. That was <laughs> it for me. Right. And you mean the people here in the Keys are friendlier. Then. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And again, because they're, they're my, my problem is not so much promoting me, but promoting mm -hmm. the idea of an estate sale. 
because it's never been down here. People mm -hmm. just don't understand what it's all about mm -hmm. and how profitable it can be for them. If they try to do this on their own, um, we had one instance back in Chicago where I took a vase out of a woman's Salvation Army pile, mm -hmm. got her $6,430 for it. Wow. And by then it was a vase, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so when people try to do this on their own, they don't have the resources. Mm -hmm. They don't have the um, the people, the contacts that we mm -hmm. do. So you're either going to give away a $6,400 vase or you're going to over value something because of its sentimental value mm -hmm. and you're going to end up getting stuck with it. Mm -hmm. We know all day long what mm -hmm. these things are going to go for because we've been in the business so long. Right, you have the resources and you also have the passion. Susie. Right, mm -hmm. oh absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well thank you so much for sharing all this information with our viewers. If they want more information on your business they can check out your website and I know you have more information along with contact information on absolutely. there. Absolutely. Thank you again. Susie. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break right now but I will be right back after these messages so please stay with me.